Toes yeah. and hands. I'm busy. W- what have you been busy with? Today I went to a dinosaur park. What? You fell asleep while watching a child. I did not fall asleep. Then you just avoided the child you were watching. I had to finish paperwork for my <laughs> daughter's birth certificate. <laughs> Jeez. Push pause. We haven't started. Oh, I thought we did. <laughs> you want to start with that? Do you want to start with your <laughs> yes, failures? Yes, let's start with me telling with you your failings. I went to a dinosaur park. That's the beginning of that. <laughs> That's the name of the oh, episode. No, 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 stop it. No, John, Jonathan wants to start. We'll start. Go. No, Hi, John. Hi, babies. I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Uh, Welcome to the episode. It's begun. Fair. Uh, Fuck. When you guys make it hard... To edit. It's no, we're keeping hard. it all in. No, you're not. Are you? I am. I yeah. don't fucking John care. said he was fine with it. So. We're not professionals. Nothing matters. We're all fucking animals. Right? Right? But, oh, classic yeah. Frankie. <laughs> what did you do? I was wanting her meter to be all the way up before oh, I dropped her off, so I was going to make another circle around the block. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that makes people happy. <laughs> yeah, people love that. Yeah. That'll work out for you. Oh, sure. I'm sorry. I'm no just church, no service. <laughs> oh my god, it's so funny, John. Hey, John. Someone must have really wanted your character because around your wrist, there's like eight rings. It, I wish that this like whole like metal ring kung fu style would just naturally evolve into a schoolyard with which has so many sl- uh, snap bracelets. <laughs> they have so many snap bracelets. Like I could wait, fight wait. like this now. I was just thinking, yes. what if there's a Sonic game when you collect the rings, put them on your arms, and then do that fighting with the rings? <laughs> <laughs> whoosh, whoosh. Well, that was like Tails' weird special ability, is that he would like throw a fake ring. What? In one of the Sonic games, that was his attack. He would throw a fake ring. Oh. It was dumb. It was dumb, because it looked just like all the other rings. Only, unlike the other rings, it would actually bounce. Hmm. But I was thinking that... I mean, that would make sense for, like, the kart racing that they did. So you think you're swerving to get a ring, and really it would be, like, a bomb? Well, she's not wrong. Sorry, I'm not talking to you. I'm, I'm reading the thing. Come on. What'd she say? We can go now. She said the orchids, um, the black orchids will guarantee a couple stays together for the rest of their life. That's true. And it's true. And no matter how long or short that life yeah, might be. exactly. Well, maybe that's why she got upset, because she knew it was like, oh, well, I'm killing my husband. <laughs> oh, well, I am. He is going to die. Yes. By my hands. Or maybe she doesn't love him, and is a loveless marriage, and she just wants me. She's not even married yet. <laughs> They're getting married. That's why she wants the orchid. Uh, wait, so she wanted a black Someone's orchid? stealing your wedding Emergency cake. Emergency shop called. Somebody is stealing your wedding cake. Why? Why? Is it dog eyes? It must be, like, the bad guys. It must be that asshole dog eyes. I can't it. believe it. And I it's, wasn't even it's, the 18, it's the 18k. They're stealing your cake so that they can go on YouTube and like pee on it or something <laughs> as like a as like a fuck you thing. Yeah. It's like a, it's a moral victory. Is this the day of the wedding? This can't. No, be. this is like a week prior. I'm like she's buying her wait a week. She's buying her wedding dress a week before the wedding. Yeah. That's yeah. not. That's you can't do that. Maybe you can't. She can. She She's can do whatever she enough. wants. She's rich. Yeah, she can have that shit made in an hour. Yeah, she wanted to. By actual human slaves. Oh. From literal human garbage. From down the street. <laughs> yeah. Don't lose your target, John. Yeah. You're yeah. Lo- you are, you're John, that. you got a speedy. She told Gonzalez me to slow down. Bit. She's the boss. She didn't say slow down. She did. She said, way slow down. But then Way said, but we're going to lose him. And she's like, well, then speed up. <laughs> I didn't hear her say speed up. Well, it's I heard her blistering. use speed. The like, drug. I'm closing the distance. Close you are the gap. Close over. The the gap. You're like a, you're like 150. You're you are several so titans away from her. Several titans. Titans away. laying foot to head, foot to head, it's foot to head. It's a 50 meter. Okay, you got two 50 meter titans between you and her. I feel Ooh, like that's really tall. I yeah. feel like scorpions with like uh, saw blades would kind of solve their problems, right? Scorpions with saw blades? Okay, when I say scorpion, I mean the medieval weapon. Oh, that's basically what? a giant crossbow. Yeah. Oh, I don't know what that is. I've that never would seen help. That. Scorpions with saw blades. Yeah. Ooh. How are you going that to get cake your cake? Okay. <laughs> You oh, were, I was you're supposed to hijack that, yeah. Yeah! <laughs> I can't go 
was destroyed. You know, in hindsight. <laughs> oh, you Sorry. Failed. They didn't steal that cake. The scorpion is almost like a fucking... It's in the uh, no, 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 I know what you're, I, I know what you're talking about. No, yeah. I don't. A giant so crossbow. It. Okay. Oh, it's, it's, just, like, it's like a giant uh, crossbow on yeah. wheels that you can push and then like let loose, oh, and like it just rips age? through everything. And so if they yeah. had some way to make like a, a blade, like a saw blade, like a circular saw. The first time I saw them was in uh, the uh, RTS game Age of Empires. Yes. I love that game. It's the best RTS. I have not ever played that. I've only played Civilization. Do you ever... Oh, no. So you haven't played Age of Mythology either? Uh-uh. Or what was the other one? There was another one that was really popular. Mm. But I want to play all those. I Rise like of, real time It's pretty strategy. cool. If you like... like Age of actual, Mythology was good. If you like actual history, go with uh, Age of Empires. And if you like... Um, Minotaurs, like and Minotaurs and like mermaids and shit, and like playing for Zeus gods I instead like of. Both. Then, so, well, the only they're, they're made by the same company. Just yeah. one is the mythical creatures and the gods, and the other one is like the rulers of countries and their soldiers. Um, and if you play story mode, you actually play like the story of Joan of Arc. You actually play the story of King Napoleon, Arthur. King Arthur, and it's really cool. We actually uh, we got to play that as a little bit of. Uh, like uh, elementary school schoolings. My friend Rose. plays a game that's somewhat Whoa. similar. It's um. I don't think those rings are helping you here. It, my friend plays a game that's kind of similar. You can play any country in the world, I believe, and you play through the events of like Relax. Just want World War One. One? Yeah, yeah, yeah. World War Because World War Two is too played. Yeah. World War One is on a hipster war shit. Or it might even be earlier than that. Like, you can play for a long time. The idea of... Can, it's supposed to be really historically accurate. The idea of hipster history. Okay. Just like, World War Two is too popular. Man, <laughs> let me talk sometimes, you know? I let you finish. You always gotta, like, have I a almost, joke, I you almost know? interrupted you, but I let you finish. Yeah. Uh, the, the person who stole the wedding cake was just a crazy woman. Really? Just a crazy woman who, who wanted it cake. for her wedding because she wanted her wedding to be perfect and she couldn't afford it. Oh. That's kind of sad. It's kind of, but then she like refused to give and said she'd rather die, so she's crazy. Our oh. cake was not that expensive. I've, I've we got cheesecake. It was fucking go. awesome. Yes, it was so good. John, you had that cake, right? Yeah. I didn't get a piece at the wedding. I had to have one of our friends save us a piece to share for like later. Why? Because it was gone? Yeah. That's nuts. Also, I ate too much food and was full. I ate so much food and, and was full, but I... Like, it was okay. We didn't do that thing when you save a piece of cake for a year, but that seems you gross. Can't, I don't want to do that, especially with cheesecake. I feel like that's something that like you do because then you can bond over being sick. Because <laughs> we just ate year old cake. We well, put it in the freezer so it keeps. Yeah, you're supposed just to put it in the frost freezer. Yeah, next where I keep all my raw meat. Do you have any family here at all? Yeah, no. you know. <laughs> right next to the baking soda. I just, mean, Deidre and I try to do that, but I think like. Six months later, something happened with the freezer, and we had to throw it away. Yeah, I mean, did you the cry? Details. I was upset, but I was very much in the mood of just getting on with my life. <laughs> was she? Was she upset? Teacher didn't even want to save it. Oh really? Oh really? Okay, that works. <laughs> yeah, she was like stupid. That's yeah, gross. How did something happen to your freezer and you couldn't save it anymore, and so you threw it away instead of eating it? I think the power went out and like instead raw meat, meat melted onto it. Ew. Wait, what? Like, raw meat melted onto it We had it, it in the back of the, f the freezer, Wait, and I think something happened. Meat and, like, doesn't it thaw fast enough for that to happen. I forget what happened exactly. Something happened to your, it. Your, your freezer must have turned into it. a heater. <laughs> Gross. I mean, some of the in Spoke can't get up to 100. Once. Once? <laughs> they got up to like 115 this year. I know. I'm so glad I got out of there. And moved here where it was so much colder. Where it was 115 oh. for like four days yeah. instead of one. <laughs> Ugh. I hate the world. No, you can't go through there. You, you cannot go, the go through there. You have to have hardcore parkour. They'll never spot you, though. You're super inconspicuous with oh, your tattoos. Okay. You jump up. I saw, I saw a flashing blue thing. It was a purse. Yeah, it was a purse. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Oh, great. Yee. Costume time. Oh, great. Oh, yeah. I like how I changed my tattoos. No, you didn't. Did you? No, you didn't. Did you? They weren't the, uh... 
Was I? I think those are the same tattoos, John. Are they? I don't remember. We'll see. I'm pretty sure. We'll see. Do any of the other monks have tattoos? No. No, and they're wearing undershirts, so they're what more modest. What are you modest. doing? <laughs> when energy flows among the flowers, we are all everywhere. I am I'm here. here and not here. here. I am love flowers. I love flowers. <laughs> That's very cute. Way. His arms. That's how you explain so things. True, so true, so true. So true, so true. <laughs> We're all just pretentious assholes. <laughs> That's 13, in deep. Oh, God. Uh, you don't belong here. Um, what is belonging? <laughs> We're all part of the same cosmos. God damn it. I feel like we're just mocking hey, the culture. I like the guy said that all the jade statues were stolen from his school, which means these monks broke in one <laughs> night and stole one of the state. <laughs> That's <laughs> confirmed. Amazing. These are these are the monks from uh These Wolverine. are asshole monks. From the Wolverine movie. Yeah, no one saw that. I didn't see that. You didn't see that? Frank didn't see that. You're referencing things you didn't see. You can't do that. I would watch that. They were movie. undercover Yakuza. Oh. They you would watch funeral. that oh, shitty Wolverine this. movie? No, I would watch it. I've Why? never seen it. Because Deadpool. Yeah, but it's supposed no, to be like the you worst guys version. are talking about Wolverine Origins. I'm talking about Wolverine. Oh. The one after that in Japan. Oh. oh I didn't. No, they made another Wrong one. Wrong direction. Oh, they switched it on me. Why do you. Ha you don't have to do this. I feel like I should. You don't have to, though. Come to the hit, come to the lie, come to the hit, come to the lie. There we go. Isn't that from Mary Poppins? No idea. Yes, it is. I found a knockoff Jay Jiggler jersey. Yeah. John, you want to go to the? Yeah, go straight. Upstairs roof. No, there's not. John. Go straight. Okay, I'm going straight. Okay. Okay, you're gonna turn, turn left, left and go down those stairs, then up those stairs. Yeah, down, down those stairs. And then up. And then up those stairs. Oh, and to the God, left. I see it now. Hi, fast talk. Ass bag. Well, who is anyone? So true. So true. So true. So true. You're so sexy. You're not wearing an undershirt, and everyone else is. I don't think you're wearing underwear either. I don't know what's going on with you. I just wanted to wear the costume. Anything extra I thought it might throw off my game. You're like one of those assholes who like wear cosplay to like actual like Japanese festivals. Yeah. Like Japanese culture like festivals and you're like, this is my time to shine. <laughs> I'm my favorite character from Bleach. <laughs> uh, that's cool. We're like trying to teach kids calligraphy. But guys So I know the I was here to steal their flowers. Shingeki no Kyojin. <laughs> Inuyasha, guys. I have doggy ears on. <laughs> oh, shit. That's, that's great. We're kind of talking yeah, about he the, knows his shit, John. the complicated and dark history of um, Japanese imperialism in China. But, guys, let's pretend we're titans and we're fighting. Wait, isn't it the other way around? What? Chinese imperialism in Japan? No. The Japanese went over to China and basically treated them the way that we treated uh, black people in like the 1920s. Wait, though, because J Japan was China plus the original people on that island. So China came to Japan before it was Japan and, and made Japan it into Japan. And then Japan came back and was like, let's fuck your shit. And I was like, what's up? What's good? <laughs> yeah. Um, a lot of uh, Bruce Lee movies actually deal a lot with that. Like, in uh, the Chinese connection, he like is walking down the street and he sees a park that says uh, Japanese only or something. Japanese like that. only or no Chinese allowed or something like that, and he like jump kicks the sign and breaks it in half, then like gets in trouble with the police and they send him to jail and he gets bailed out, and then a Japanese school is trying to take over their Chinese like kung fu school to replace it with their Japanese karate school and the police aren't doing anything because sorry they're Japanese you know, fuck you. And uh -oh. so he uh, goes and kills all of them, and then the end of the movie is Jack or Bruce Lee getting really, like, aggro and, like, just walking out of the building and sees police are there just with guns pointed at him, and he runs at them and does a jump kick. And then the movie uh, freeze frames on him doing his jump kick, and it looks super cool, but and you, you just hear him. gunshots. Mm. And oh. that's the end of the movie. So they killed him. Oh, yeah, he dies at the end of that movie. I got it. Well, he's... Chilling. He's not. He's just doing Tai Chi. He's just. just he's uh, actually been here for seven days meditating. I just killed your father. He's in deep meditation. 
Did you have to interact with him, or? No, what John was that? Jonathan could have just ran away. The bell is being rung. He was marches right on my map. You are for who the bell tolls. <gasps> Literature. For whom, Scotty? For whom the bell tolls? Who? You are who for which the bell has rung tolled. <laughs> Your car is all jacked. You up. need to get on the other side. Scoot, scoot. No, scoot. no, you're, you're driving, John. She refuses this. This isn't L.A. Noir. You drive. <laughs> you Let me drive just this one. scooch over your lap. You got them. <laughs> you got them. Oh wait, thank you so. <laughs> How can I say no when if I say no, they will kill me? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about this? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Whatever. Whatever. Flitch your boat. Lose the cops. Oh, those cops. Because the... Well, oh, that. Okay. <laughs> because that. Let's just say it's that. No, because the Shaolin tried to kill me because I picked a flower. You were trespassing, and then you stole property. They never once asked me to leave. That's not trespassing in America. I don't know about this crazy country. Um, well... This kooky country we call China. With these wacky misadventures. But I... It was never asked to leave. And I never when, stated I was a Shaolin. I just dressed up and said some things. Remember how no, Hong Kong used to be its own country? No, like it was a part I don't of remember Ch that. I think I was dead. It was a part of China, and then it wasn't part of China, and then it was part of China. I yeah. mean, I think I was not alive yet. And that's why you got movies uh, that came out of Hong Kong that were first, like, in black and white. They were only historical movies, and then they were allowed to be contemporary, and now they're just historical movies again because... You can't say anything bad about the country, isn't and you need conflict in a movie. So. Isn't that what happened at Tiananmen Square? It was like the retaking of Hong Kong? Yeah. By China? Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, I wasn't alive for that, really. I don't think I was alive either. But, I mean, honestly, I don't free know Tibet, much. am I right? Free Tibet. You mean Nepal? Free Tibet. Free or Tibet. Tibet. Whatever. I don't know any... Like I said, I don't know anything about Asian history. That Only is while you are alive, though. Okay, but what I'm trying to say is, in school, I was taught only white people history and also where white people have been history at the time that they were there and only the time that they were there. And then after that, fuck, fucked off. That is how most history works. I learned about Martin Luther King. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you didn't. The That's most, a weird school. You probably the most were taught lies about Ma Martin Luther King. The most whitewashed, uh, like black, black, like historical figure in in the world history. Yes. The guy who was more about appeasing whites and like, hey, black people, here's what we gotta do. We gotta act like them. Pull yourself up by your bootstraps. Like, kind of like whip guys. Yeah. The Martin anyway. Luther King, if he was alive today, would be a black Republican. Probably. He was Probably. super religious. Was you like wanna know who wouldn't be? All the black people Martin Luther King shit on because they weren't about appeasing white people. And like, ruined the careers of and blackmailed and would like do things like, it, like blame like hey they're they're gay so we can't like be part of them they can't be super good for our community at all anymore everyone listen to me now mm. and even while he was cheating on his wife he would expose other people for cheating on their wives and it's like uh bro yeah. fuck you you know what I'm going on record fuck Martin Luther King maybe not fuck Martin Luther King but he's not a, a saint. lot of ladies did yeah He's not like a saint like people really think he is. Which is, no one is a saint. I mean, I'm not saying he's like the worst person ever, but I mean, it's really grating to have like a person be like, almost like warships when they did a lot of shitty things and they did a lot of shitty things who instead of being like shitty to, he like should have worked with. Or like his cause appropriated for the comfort of whiteness, you know? Like, what would Martin Luther King do? Probably what I want. Yeah. You know what I mean? Anyway. And I feel like, I don't know. Getting political up in here? Let's take it down a notch. Let's talk about China. Let's talk about um, pottery. Oh, Harry Potter. Let's talk about you, no, baby. Scott, shut up. Harry, Harry Potter. What about him? There's an actual Harry Potter school of wizardry in Sweden? What do you They mean? took an old castle. And they turned it into a three-day vacation that you could pay to go to wizardry Billions school. Billions of dollars. No, $350. Oh, 
whole dollars? That's doable. That's crazy good. That's for less like, than, that's for less a three day thing, yeah. Con. For three days at a castle? Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's less than Max Fun Con. Does that include uh, food and everything? Or yeah. Is that... Less than a cruise. Everyone gets sorted into a house. They have their own original houses, you know. That's that's less than like a day at Disneyland. I mean, you gotta pay for the trip, but I mean, Let's that's go. a pretty sweet deal. Let's go. Let's you should look serious. into it. They have video and everything of the Quidditch matches, the. Uh, them learning spells, all of which is pretend, but when you see everyone doing it in costume... Yeah, it's fun. It's actually really cool. Learning about alchemy. <laughs> um, <laughs> I want to take divination. Here's the thing. And you actually get graded, so if you do shitty, you don't pass. You what? Get, <laughs> you earn it. Oh my god, it. I'm you gonna can, graduate with flying colors. You can be the Ron Weasley. I'm not Ron. No, I am. You're I'm gonna be Ron. I'm Ron. gonna fail everything. I'm totally Hermione. Did you know when they um, first started making those movies, they made the actors like write para like, like they essays, write essays, yeah, as why they would be the characters and why they were, and then uh, as the characters would. Do. What's his name? Engelbert Humperdinck. What? Engelbert Humperdinck? What are you talking about? The guy who plays Ron. What's his name? <laughs> Rupert. Rupert. Paul Grant? Rupert. Rupert Grant. Oh my god. Whatever. Rupert Grant said he didn't write it, and he was like. Ron went on a road in it, and then the, the girl who directed him was like, "You're right." <laughs> he the girl never directed it. Or the written it. Sorry. No, it was the director who said, "Yeah, you're right." He Shut wouldn't have. Uh, I like damn. how uh, front door. Eagleburg Humperdinck. Who's Eagleburg Humperdinck? He's a he's also British, but he's a singer, and he's kind of old now, like pushing <laughs> oh, okay. death's door. I like it. I have no idea interview. why that name was in my head. <laughs> Because it's in everyone's head. It's in the public consciousness. I believe so. It's a very British name. I think it's just a British name. Like, a stereotype British name. But it's really Like, Benedict person. Cumberbatch is going to become yeah. just a stereotype British when name. When I first saw a billboard of him singing at a casino when I was, like, a, not super young, I don't know, like, 10, I was, like, Engelbert Humperdinck. I have, and I had never heard this name before. I laugh for like 30 minutes. I'm like, that's not real. But that's you, not real. But you told me that you did the same thing when you heard about a Fuddruckers. Yeah, that, yeah, I knew it was real though because I went there. Or but I also laughed for 30 minutes because I, fuckers. I was like, how do people, how do people get away with this shit? Rudfuckers. Rudfuckers. Paul Rudfuckers. Paul Rudfuckers. Activate 3D, 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 please. Where are you going, John? A mission. Where's... Where you got a green show phone, at the top. Maybe? Oh, way up there, on oh, the other side is of there town. Quick travel. The okay. wedding. It's a big travel. I don't know. I don't. I don't remember if there's quick travel. Uh, there's geez. no quick travel. You have to drive everywhere. Sorry, you have to drive everywhere. Okay. Can but I it's say cool. a story? Yeah. You can say anything you want. The three people from Harry Potter. Yeah. After the first film, they were interviewed and asked what they plan to do with all the money they're making from the film series. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Hermione and Harry all said, like, well, we plan on saving it. We'll have access to it when we're 18, and we'll see from there. And Ron said, yeah, unfortunately, we're getting paid in muggle money, so I don't know what the hell I'm going to do with it. <laughs> so. I yeah, in interviews, the guy who played Ron, uh... Paul Rupert. Rupert Rupert Murdoch. Grant. Rupert Grant. <laughs> um, Grant. Hmm? Grant. Grant. Rupert Murdoch. Um, the guy who owns Fox News. That's n Rupert... Murdoch. I don't know who Rupert Murdoch is. I remember in interviews he was always uh, kind of a smartass. I liked him. Okay. He was cool. Alright. Um... But hey, the guy who played Longbottom turned out handsome, didn't he? He did. He did. Has he been in anything? I don't know, but I'll watch it. I'd well, fab to him. He's been in my dreams. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, He should be in the next, if they make another one, next Kingsman. Oh. Right? He should have been in the first Kingsman. Should and if they do make a second one, he should also be in that. I hope they make a second one. I really love Kingsman. Dude, that was such a good movie. I felt so hyped after watching that movie. I felt so amped. It was like one in the morning. I was like, I'm ready to punch someone. I was so amped. A lot of people said they didn't like the way uh, Sam Jackson did his like lispy voice, and they felt like just Sam Jackson wanted to do it, and the director felt like he couldn't say no to Sam Jackson, but I liked it. Oh, I, I thought don't know. it was funny. I never... I don't even remember I didn't that. find it grating or anything. Do you mean like hard to listen to? Like, they just thought it was dumb and silly oh. and they didn't think it should be in there. But I thought it added a little bit of, I don't, I don't know. know. I don't care. I thought it was... 
fine. I didn't have an opinion on it, and I, I still don't. Samuel Jackson, in like all his movie roles, he's kind of portrayed as like a tough, scary, usually like, a, a, you know, gonna shoot you and shit. Yeah. So it was a way to kind of separate himself from his usual demeanor well, and almost like disarm this character who was someone who was anti-violence. Well, I feel like yeah. um, and that Sam, gunshot he does was supposed to be a surprise. Well, uh-huh. I feel like Sam Jackson in like almost all of his movies is like hired like, hey, be Sam Jackson. <laughs> yeah. And this is like the first time in a long time he got to actually play a character. Yeah. So he wanted to make the most of it. I get that. Which is when Sam Jackson first started doing movies, he was actually like a really good. Can you like, stop calling him Sam Jackson and call him by his name Samuel L. Jackson? Look, Sammy Jacks <laughs> is actually a really good character actor. Yes, of course he is. Also, he did get in trouble for holding uh, a relative of Martin Luther King hostage at, at college and was part of the Black Panthers. And has Whoa. a fucking crazy ass, just really interesting. History. Read his Wikipedia page. It is fucking crazy interesting. It says his one third llama. His Wikipedia is fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> one third llama? I can see it. I can see it. <laughs> it's a little in the neck. He looks like he'll spit on you simultaneously. John! It's gonna be a. Why wedding? What's that song? Billy Joel. Billy Joel. Oh, I don't no, know. No, hey, Billy Idol. Your sister, what no, have Billy, you done? Billy Idol, not Billy Joel. Oh, yeah. Billy hey, Idol. Billy Joel Billy is... Sister, who's your only one? one? Hey, little sister, shotgun! It's a nice day for a white wedding. You, your guys' parents were so different from my parents. Do you, do you? <laughs> I, I've never heard this song before. Ever? Ever. I don't know what you're talking about. In between about. this episode and next episode, we'll listen to the song and then we'll talk about the song. <laughs> All right. Because okay. this episode ends in... I mean, we could end it now. We ended it after this cuts in. All right. Sounds good. I'm excited to learn about Billy Idol. And or Billy Joel. <laughs> it's Billy Idol. <laughs> but you know, whatever. But we listened to a lot of both when we were kids. Oh, yeah. <laughs> John had a Billy Joel CD, I think. Oh, yeah. Didn't you? I had an NWA CD that my dad bought me. That seems inappropriate. And a Michael Jackson. And a Michael Jackson CD. Which you threw away during the scandal. Way to hold your ground. <laughs> what scandal? <laughs> the whole Michael Jackson scandal. Oh, yeah, no, I, th- I threw my Michael Jackson CD away when he was like. Because you. Because why? Just cause... I didn't want to listen to the album of a pedophile. Turncoat. <laughs> Turncoat? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Thriller doesn't do it for me anymore. Oh, wait, push pause. Oh, Do you see that? Okay. Um, that's been it. All okay. right, it's been. Let's uh, find out what's going on with this wedding. I think someone ate bad cake or something. Love you. Bye. I don't, don't love you. Sorry. What? <laughs> I, 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 anyone who listens to this and, like, enjoys it, I love you. No, I genuinely love you. Like. Listener. Look at me. Look at me in the eyes. Look at me. Look at me in the eyes. Don't, no, no, don't fucking look away. Don't look away. Hey. <laughs>